Good time of day, loves. I wanted to do this post resembling something Halloweenish because we are in the season or zombie like. And I also wanted to speak about the current crisis in. Pennsylvania, Philadelphia. In Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, we can find Kensington Avenue, which is nicknamed Zombie City due to its current population of homeless drug addicts that wander around clu- clueless, oftentimes with deformed bodies and or decaying facial features. This is all because of the fentanyl and how it works as a pain reliever, but it is, in fact, 50 times more potent than heroin. Speaking as a social worker, I might say, that my clients are displaying dependency on the substance because they were once probably probably um, searching for an easy way to feel better and ease the pain they might be feeling. I know when I was smoking marijuana, I was searching for a fast and simple way to drift into another mindset or mind frame. Thankfully, God put a halt to my reckless behavior. But unfortunately, most or some of the citizens of Philadelphia haven't had the same luck as me. What I wonder is, how much does it take for the government to step in and act? It is reported that the average that an average of five Texas residents die every day from fentanyl poisoning. So I know it's not just a Philadelphia problem. It's a world problem. I know firsthand that once you're hooked on a drug, you are blinded to the long-term effects it has on you. But if you are being affected by any sort of substance, please speak with someone. If anything, I am a social worker and I can help you find the available resources for your correct dependency, whichever your dependency might be. Just know I'm here for you. Thank you. Please don't forget to follow and subscribe. 
And until next time, keep living by the sunshine. Thank you.